Welcome back everyone to Bobbin Often with Lofton today, 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 today. We're gonna be going over stream, comment, stream, Steam. Com I can't be the only one that confuses Steam and stream with Stream Labs and Steam Labs. I can't be the only one. We're gonna be going over these comments. We did this a long time ago in the past and I wanna go over it again, see what changed, see what people got to say. You guys know I don't hold no punches. I'm always honest, I'm always truthful. Let I mean, I, let's get into it. If you guys are an early access watcher, feel free to comment on the video that is scheduled to premiere. That's one of the benefits of being a Patreon, getting that early access to the video and you can comment a little bit early before everybody else can. Also, you can watch it before everybody else can. If you guys enjoy the content and you wanna see more, remember to subscribe to the channel, that way you're notified when I make more content. And if you guys wanna help support the Patreon, link description below. Once we reach our goal with Patreon, we're gonna have regular streams. So if you guys are hyped for regular streams, let's reach that goal. We'll get those regular streams going. Last but not least, leave your comment in the video I won't respond to the comments, I won't even look at them, but I will make a response video and I'll feature your comments in the video and I'll respond to them and I'll talk about them, okay? So remember that. I'm not looking at anybody's comments until the next day. So remember that, okay? And then I'll make a response video and you guys will have your comments featured. So if that's something you wanna see, your comment on the screen and me talking about it, let me know what you're thinking down below, okay? Let's see if we can get some recent ones though. Um, okay. Most recent. Let's see what we got. KLGB like 2021. We are bringing back the chase. Long live the chase. 2022. Pack your bags or pack your things. You are moving to Kurt's Bell. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Nice. Okay. Very bad developer. I mean, I feel like people should just get past that already. Right? We're already at the point. But nobody, if you're new to a game, you don't care about the developer. And the reviews are meant to let people know about the game. Right? If I'm new to a game, I don't care who develop it. I'm playing the game to play the game. I, when I was young, I didn't care what companies were which. And even now, I don't care what companies are which. I do know some people do care that, care about that. But realistically, if you're a new player to a, to a new game, you don't care. You just want to try the game out, see if it's for you. Um, I feel like a lot of people should step away from the, what the developers are doing because that doesn't really make or break the experience of the game for certain individuals. I uh, love this so much. I used to love Grand Chase back in the day, but the fact recently they made it impossible to level from PvP has completely killed it for many, for me and many other players who find PvP, PvE tedious. First of all, you have 0 0.5 hours played. Second of all, they did that because people were freaking cheesing the system. Look, I said this before when people started to cheese the system for PvP. If you cheese it, they will do something to halt it. And when they do halt it, they're gonna make it so that people that actually did it fairly get punished for it too because of what bad apples do. It's literally the same thing. And honestly, that's what happened. That's what's happening with hackers too. People are just getting, people are getting banned that aren't even hacking. Why? Because there's a hacker in their room. One bad apple makes everything bad. And unfortunately with KOG, they don't care. If one bad person does something to exploit our systems, one bad person does something to, to hack our game or whatever, everybody's getting punished for it is what it is. To be fair, it shouldn't be like that. But if you don't have the manpower to, to really separate the people and really sift through these problems, you're just gonna say, bam, one solution, let's go. I'm done with it, let's move on. We just need to quit exploiting this dang game and play the game and then have fun, right? That's all That's all it's gotta be. Why, why, we gotta do, why we gotta do everything to just ruin the game for everybody? But exactly what he's saying, you know? It, it, they did do that, but once again, it's the community made it happen. It wasn't a KOG choice. It was, oh, my community's taking advantage of my game guess I'm gonna have to just shut it down. Unfortunately, that's what happens. You know, welcome to life, I guess. Play it just for nostalgia. Why else would you play this game? Let's be real. Um, unless you're a new player coming to it, you don't, you're either coming because I'm new or you're coming because it's nostalgic. If you're not coming for either of those, then uh, you shouldn't really be playing this game, I don't think. There's nothing really to offer that other games don't offer. Literally just turned the servers back without even taking the cobwebs off and slapped twice as many microtransactions to get more money before people notice this game's running on life support. Like I said before, looking at the Steam charts, this game is running pretty optimally. It's running as well as it was running before. The peak every single month is 5,000-ish, and like the, the average player base per month is like 2,500. That That's as much as I should expect from a game like Grand Chase. I mean, Dungeon Fighter has been alive for a while, like I said before, and the game is pretty good, but there's only like 300 players playing consistently every month. That's nothing. Um, Kurt Spell still alive and it's the same way. Elsa is still alive, it's the same way. Maple Store is still alive, it's the same way. Um, all the games that are old now, 
their player base isn't that big. So to attack player uh, to attack KOG in my opinion for lack of players and players are running away. They're banning players. So to be fair, they lost about four, five thousand, six thousand. Like they're banning people because they're doing bad things. So their player base would actually be higher if they didn't care and just let those players play that were doing the bad things and weren't being banned for it. So that's another fun fact check for you. First of all, we're banning players and we don't care about our numbers, which is obvious. Second of all, it's it's an old game, yet it's higher play rate than most of the old games that you guys probably play. There's so many games that have less than a thousand concurrent players because it's old. What's wrong with that? Also, I think 2,000 players and 2,000 players consistently and 5,000 players peak wise every month is pretty good for it, it is it, that's pretty much the amount of players that we had back then i highly doubt there was like 75k 100k 200k players just playing grand chase back then i no that wasn't a thing not gonna lie look i told you i'm not holding no punches okay i'm just saying you're a little bit ignorant to say something like that because it doesn't make no sense if you read through the facts this is an immense shame upon kog Oh, they updated it. Oh, so they just made it and then updated it at the same time. The original game was a masterpiece for its time. Yes, for its time. I agree it was pretty good for its time. And to bring it back only, not only without any of the characters, but with absolutely, absolutely no work done to make it better or up to the current standards is simply disgraceful. They went so far to make it worse to get more money out of it. They, they went away from pay to win since the start of Grand Chase Classic. I'm just, look, I'm just saying. On top of that, you know, the game is definitely better than it was before. So, <laughs> yes. And, 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 and on top of that, it's definitely a modern version of what the game was. So, I mean, I, look, I'm just saying, look, I'm not rooting, you know, I'm not, I'm not a KOG fanboy fan all the way, but you know, like I said, I tell the truth. This just don't make no sense. I'm, I'm sorry, we just frustrated. That's what's going on. They took a nostalgic feel great game from years ago and used it as a cash grab. Once again, you don't need to pay cash to be as strong as someone that actually has cash. Use cash if you want, don't use it if you want. KLG doesn't really care. Literally just turned on the servers back without taking the cobwebs off and slapped twice as many microtransactions to get more money from people rooting. Okay, that's the same thing that the other dude said. He just copied and pasted that line from him. Wow. KLG took a fat blank dump on our fond memory of childhood, and I still can't believe this has even a single good review. Once again, I think it's just someone that's ignorant that just wants to yell. Um, basically, what's happening is people are just being bullies. You know, what happens in school when someone's a bully? People usually start bullying with the bully. If someone's like, oh, that guy looks to look at your shoes, blah, 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 somebody else is going to come in and say the same thing. Someone else is going to come and say the same thing. Basically, the people that are leaving the reviews that are attacking and not really putting any real review into their review other than just attacking the company is just bullies and you just feel i have to shame it through a review with no with no like context i'm not saying leaving bad reviews is bad i mean bad review kog i mean i got things to say too characters ain't out what's up with that new content doesn't seem to be coming you're not having events for your characters it kind of sucks um some of the nerfs that you did are horrible because it doesn't you didn't have to nerf them it made no sense some of the the changes especially to like ronin i was really upset about it didn't make no sense i mean the list goes on and on i have problems but i have problems with every game but you don't see me reviewing every game saying nonsense just to be basically a bully just to make just just to be a bully who listens to bullies no one because bullies don't have nothing important to say it's just that's why you're never heard. Don't be a bully and you'll be heard. Be a bully, no one cares about you. It can be fun, just needs a lot of work. That's a solid review. There we go. It's not massive. You can make it massive if you want. It's fun, but it, 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 it just needs work. It needs a lot of work. And I agree, it does need a lot of work. Does that mean, am, am I stopping someone from getting into the game? No, I'm just simply saying, hey, it can be fun, but you know, just notice when you go in, it's gonna need some work before it becomes really, really good. That's a solid review. I don't know what a lot of these other reviews saying like, hey, KOG sucks. I can't believe they did this. Oh my God, this is so stupid. Like that's not a review. That's just, you just want to fume to someone because your life sucks. No, <laughs> I'm rude. Look, like I said, I'm holding no punches. But you think about it though. You see, I'm just, I'm just joking, right? But I still come off super, super offensive. Imagine 
KOG reading this and, and trying to listen to a player base that acts like that. Kinda hard. Cause you're saying nonsense. You're not really telling me how, you're not really telling us how you can fix the game, how we can make it better for you. You're telling us that you're just upset about everything and your life sucks. <laughs> Let me move on. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Story is interesting. Gameplay is fun. I like it. I like this person too. You know, story is interesting. Gameplay is fun. I like it. They're not saying this game is the best. They're not saying the game sucks. They're saying, hey, I like it. And I think the story is interesting. I think the gameplay is fun. This is my review. This is subjective. This is how I feel. <laughs> Applaud. The game feels like it zaps your brain cells. I couldn't even take 20 minutes of whatever the F this is. That's a, that's a nice review though, in my opinion. You know, it's just how he feels. He doesn't say the company sucks. He doesn't say anything. He just said, nah. Hey, is that my brain cells, man? I don't know what this is. That that's that's solid review in my opinion. It makes sense. It's it's relaying something to me. If you if you like playing with people while you beat monsters until the final boss, although the game is old, it's actually relaunched. It was closed approximately in 2015 and reopened in 2020. It has its charm and it can be very entertaining if you like these type of games. True. You can play as different characters and every single one of them is different from the other. Definitely. Every three weeks, a new quote unquote character is added. So you can always try the new quote unquote one. If you get to try, uh, if you get tired of the old, if you get tired of the current ones, the stages in the maps are fun. You can get pets that are somehow helpful. <laughs> play with your friends and combo your skills and attacks. All of the above works if you are a new and casual player. If you are hardcore or old to this game, don't try it. The end game is very tedious and it bores you on the long term. I am an old player and I am playing this game just for nostalgia. And sometimes I play it because the mechanics are fun. And just that. Overall, the game lacks of a consistent and varied end game. You can get some materials with your main character, but if you want more, you will have to run another character to provide you with resources because Endgame is limited to tries and to each character. In addition, useful pets are very hard to get unless you buy one with the gotcha system. Champion tickets are also super hard to get, which makes titles and pets even harder to get. Endgame content is almost kind of lame, to be honest. In the summary, it's not a bad game. I actually recommend it because it is fun, but it's just going to su it's just going super slow. And I believe that this game probably won't have new content until it gets to the point when it was shut down. Once again, a solid <laughs> review. You're saying your opinion. You have a lot of hours on record. You're, you're saying like, hey, you know, it, for the casual player, it's pretty good. But if you're a hardcore gamer or an old player, you probably shouldn't play it. Why? Because the end game sucks. <laughs> you can relay your distaste for a game without BMing the company, without vulgar phrases and stuff, without being a bully. Be sophisticated. Type what you have. Type what you're needing to say in a constructive manner and let someone read it and be the judge of themselves. Let the person reading it be the judge of your comment. You shouldn't just already have your comment being done and be like, oh, this sucks, this company sucks, the game sucks. Like, what do I get out of that? I don't get nothing out of that. Play this for nostalgia, but don't play this if you're looking to get into an RPG. The game has not changed much, especially not in the monetization department. There are a few loot boxes divided accordingly to the theme that can give you level 80 accessories and armor with really good stats that allows you to skip grind. I spent money to get those in 2010 and i think that's all you need to know on just how abusive the premium stuff can be gaming taylor says it's completely free to play he doesn't know scat it, it, it it's completely free to play um to anybody that wants to know you don't have to pay for cash for anything it, it's free Shh, it's free the statement is completely false and misleading so he can shove and swallow uh review up his whoa KOG also st staggering character re-releases, which is stupid, much like the monetization. S the staggered character releases are just there to force people to wait remains, assuming it wasn't characters on release. KOG just crashed. I mean, you see, there we go again with calling it a trash. You don't need to call a company a trash. The sad part is I was with this guy. I was with this guy until we got to here. Like once we got to the gaming teller sales part, I was with him. I was, look, I, I was like, dude, that's a good review for being a bad review. And then we got to the KOG is this, KOG is that, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of stuff we don't know what we're talking about. You don't need to spend money. I do agree if you're looking to get into an RPG, it's probably not the one for you. You're not gonna get a lot of, uh... you're not gonna get a lot of what you would probably get out of like Maple Story, For instance, if you're really trying to grind that RPG element, it doesn't really provide that. It's like a little, uh, it's like a, it's like a, a simpler version of like Maple Wolf. 
um, or a simpler version of like a regular RPG. I do agree with his comment on that. Like I said, you can relay your comment without actually being a bully, but uh, I do agree with some of the stuff that he says. You know, um, it definitely isn't one where if you're like, I really want to sink my teeth into and I really want to spend hours and hours and hours just getting my character to blah, blah, blah. It's not one of those games. Okay. Unless you just really enjoy the type of, like if you play it, like I like it, then you decide if you want to do that. But if you're going in with that mentality, you're probably not going to like it. This will be the last one. When KOG said that they're bringing back classic Grand Chase, we were expecting more than an updated client. Instead, this is a nice nostalgia trip for players from 12 years ago, but that's it. No new mechanics, no new content, nothing. I really did enjoy every minute I've played, but without actual updates to make this a 2020s game, it's not worth it. And the worst part is Grand Chase does deserve these updates. Fans still love the game. Once again, solid content, or solid comment. I don't agree that there was no updates. I do think that there's some skill tree mechanics that are new and introduced, especially Ronin, as I said before. Um, I do think there are some in-game mechanics that are different. Like like I said, I've played the other version, like the, the, the vanilla quote unquote version. I think Grand Chase Classic is definitely way more fleshed out than it's, than it's little brother. I would, I would just say that. But I, I, I look, he relayed his opinion. He said it nicely. He didn't be in the company. And he said, hey, the game does have, you know, people still love the game. I think it does deserve these updates, but right now this game sucks, in his opinion. I like that. Why can't we all just, as a community, grow and, and just have constructive reviews? You know, if you're constructive with your reviews, the company is more likely to listen to you. And if the company is more likely to listen to you, they're more likely to change what's going on. Whether it, it be on their own terms, because you know KLG be taking years sometimes to fix some stuff. I'm just, look, I'm just saying, but you're not getting anywhere being a bully, right? There's no reason to be a cyber bully. Like I said, I know some of y'all just like want to get your frustration out. That's okay. It is what it is. But you have to think like the new players that are reading the reviews, you're kind of pushing them away for no reason because you hate KOG. That makes no sense. The game is good. I think the game is fine. If I'm a new player looking to get into another game, I would recommend this to somebody too. Like, hey, try it out. If, if it's your type, you might like it. I'm not gonna be like, hey, KOG sucks. They always take your money. You're forced to spend stuff. I hate it. They don't play this game because I hate the game, which means everybody that else, everybody else that tries the game should hate the game too because I hate the game. Like, what type of crap is that? What type of mob mentality is that? I'm just saying. If you guys want to become a Patreon and want to have early access to my content, like I said, link in the description below. Once we reach our goal, we will have regular streams. And if you guys are interested in those regular streams, let's go ahead and reach that goal. Also, leave your comment below. I will read it when the video is out for 24 hours once it's out for 24 hours i'll make a response video i'd love to know your comments Dude, let me know what y'all got to say this is juicy and of course if you guys want to see more of this um hit me with a thumbs up if we get 30 likes i'll do another one okay so thank you guys for watching till next time you're always safe thank you for what popping often often